The question of how invisible forces shape our universe, the world around us, has always fascinated me. But a coastal cave in Yorkshire is the last place I expected to come in search of answers. <laughs> Uh, the reason I chose to study science at university was because they told me that 90% of my year uh, would be male. Uh, what they didn't tell me at the time was that the odds are good, uh, but the goods are odd. <laughs> uh, when they're held down in that pattern, they bend a little bit and hold a lot of potential energy. And as soon as one of those three points is released, <laughs> they fly off. The problem is, if it doesn't work, you just look like a crazy lady screaming at a glass. You can't just pluck any note out of the universe, you know, your favourite note. You can't just sing that at the glass, get it loud enough and expect that to work. You have to choose the note that this glass loves to vibrate at. You choose this glass's favourite note. You choose this glass's resonant frequency. I'm aware that I'm kind of anthropomorphising the glass here. <laughs> this glass hates it when I do that. <laughs> I've been watching Panda Cam uh, most of this afternoon. Frankly, I would rather watch black and white paint dry. There are far more fascinating animals out there that are not beautiful. They're creepy, they're crawly, they're ugly, they're grey, they're weird, but they are much more interesting. If pandas is the only thing you think of when you think of animals and conservation, it's like you're a DJ who says they love music, but they only play Justin Bieber. All right, it's okay. Helen's voice that's going to smash the glass. So, Helen, guys, come on. Helen, do you think you can do this? It's live, you get one chance. I'm ready. Is the glass yes. ready? Yes, oh. I like that answer. Ear protection, eye protection, please, okay. guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Found my favourite animal, it's the anglerfish. What a beautiful specimen it is with the big, juicy lips, with the tiny fangs embedded. The female is this incredibly ugly beast of a fish and the poor little male, it starts nibbling away at the side of the female anglerfish and while it starts nibbling, the female starts to absorb it into its body and starts to dissolve the whole poor little tiny male until it's just got its little gonads left on the side. I think you can just make out a few little lumps of uh, this fish's ex-lovers. Job. Right, right. I did uh, a physics degree and then I basically <laughs> left science. Yeah. And it has been comedy that has got me back into science. Wow. So I'm here to discover the science that puts the thrill into the fun fair. Tell me what you do to engineer fear into every part of this rock. I know the physics, I trust the physics, but I am still completely terrified! Oh, I can see the sea! Maybe next time I come to Blackpool, I might just take a little stroll along the beach. 